Well, hello, this is Richard. As you can tell, my voice is not working. Try it down to a whisper. <clears throat> I can project my voice a little bit more, but I normally, when I do that, I end up coughing uh, because I've got one lung that's partially collapsed. And, uh, anyway, um, so we'll try this and see whether or not it works. Um, I'll just hold the microphone, there'll be a bit of noise, but at least you can hear me whisper, I think. Well, Mandy and I are here in wonderful, wonderful Namali. We're here together, just to spend time together, and Mandy, Mandy's actually just behind the camera there, looking out over the ocean as I speak to you. We're very fortunate to be able to do this. Just so fortunate. Fortunate to have the time. Fortunate to be able to come here. And I thought I'd just give you a short update for a few minutes. After being diagnosed on the 14th of... of oh, we've got frogs here in the background. It's, um, it's not dogs, it's actually frogs. Spelled similarly. Very different. We actually had crabs wandering around the beret here as well. Now, Namali, you haven't lived until you've been to Namali. It's just the most incredible place. They've got about 130 staff minimum to service a maximum of 30 people. Um, it's isolated. It's personalised care. Uh, it's all inclusive. It's not like Club Med. It's way beyond a Club Med. If we've been here, I think uh, this might be number fourth time. Thereabouts. Might be fifth. We've been to Fiji more times than that. But the people of Fiji are the most happiest people in the world. Ask an average Fijian, what's the purpose of life? And they'll tell you, they'll laugh at you quite often. Or laugh with you and say, to be happy, of course. What else could the purpose of life be? I love that. They sing. They um, enjoy life. They are uh, revel in every day. I love the atmosphere of the or the culture of the Fijian people, and that's why we keep coming back. Excuse me. <laughs> So it has lots of memories. And uh, we've been able to stay in a 
very similar bar. We actually stayed in this one, I think, the first time we came. So, many memories, many times to look back on, many things to discuss. And of course, Manny and I are doing now is making plans for the future, looking back over the past, looking to see what the future will hold for our family, and uh, making, like I said, whatever plans necessary. I'm just starting to bounce back now after some trial chemotherapy. Um, the only reason I tried it was that I've been told it will improve my life. I'm not convinced that has happened. It's two and a half weeks now since I trialed some, and it's only today that I feel I'm starting to improve. And my voice is totally gone, but that's just an audio thing. But me inside, I've I really got knocked around by that chemo. Knocked me. And uh, today, I'm starting to feel a little human again, which is such a nice change. I actually enjoyed some chicken soup. It's the first non-fruit um, uh, juice or smoothie, non, non-sugar based drink that I've been able to ingest without a heavy taste and metallic for now, uh, I think about five weeks. Now when I was given the diagnosis, 14th of June, it's about seven weeks ago, I was told four to six weeks was the minimum that they could guarantee me at that stage. So I'm already on bonus time and I'm really, really pleased about that. It would appear that some of the therapies that I've been taking have given me some extension. It's hard to know how much, but at least it's something. And I'm just so grateful for that. Now, from here on Saturday, we're going to travel back to Australia and we're meeting with our children uh, over the next uh, week to ten days. I need a couple of days with each of them individually. So we're organising that and we think with Sundays is the perfect place. So it's about the same weather as here, but it's less distance for them to travel. And once again, if we just did that in Perth, well, we've been trying, but with so many people wanting to visit and uh, and care and reach out, uh, the children actually suffer because they don't get a chance. So we need to do what we need to do. So that's just a short update. I appreciate the time that you've taken to uh, list, uh, listen in to the whisper and, uh, and to care and to reach out and to be interested in what's happening. I just want to let you know that I'm very much with, at peace with what's happening here. Um, my prognosis is not good. Uh, I'm already, like I said, on bonus time. And uh, I'm just so pleased to be here. I'm looking out over the lagoon here. And there's people out there swimming uh, as the sun goes down. And uh, I once swam out on that lagoon. Uh, one of the times that we were here brings back wonderful memories. But I don't have the uh, physical capacity to go out there at the moment. And that's okay. I want you to let you know one other thing. Prognosis is not good. But there is an experimental cure for a particular mutant gene for the cancer that I have. And uh, doctors have just found out about it. There is only one chance in a hundred that I have that mutant gene. One chance in a hundred. We just found out about it. When I get back to Australia, I'll have a biopsy. Uh, another biopsy, unfortunately. Knocks you around a bit. And have the cancer examined for that 1% chance that it has a mutant gene. If it does have that gene, uh, they tell me it's just about 100% chance that I would recover. Now, if it's a 50 or 25 or even a 20% chance that the gene could be mutant, I would be on a plane today shortening the trip with the family and with Mandy. But it's only 1% chance. So I believe that's the best thing I need to do right now is to spend time with Mandy. We need to. 
We need to go through some stuff. We've been through a lot of stuff this week. I need time with my children. And then I'll have it tested when I get back to Australia on the 26th, 25th, 26th of this month. And then if so, uh, a lot of prayers would be answered. Uh, but one chance in a hundred. Uh, we're rolling the dice in a big way. But there is a small possibility of total recovery. It is not totally hopeless. Just wanted to let you know that, so if you want to pray for something, if you want to reach in the, out in that way, then please pray or hope that the cancer I've got has that particular mutant gene. Anyway, I better let you go. It's been a pleasure whispering to you. And perhaps I can whisper to you sometime soon. Um, look forward to it. Also look forward to your emails as they come in. I do read them all, but I just don't have the physical resources to be able to answer every one at this stage. Some days are good days, some days are not. And I revel in the good days. Today is a good day. I woke up this morning. Today is a good day. And more than that, I seem to be able to uh, function more than normal, normal today. Oh, we do have some happy people down there. It's Fiji. You can be surprised about that. If ever you want to really live, come to Fiji. And if you ever come, make a Namali. You never regret it. Anyway, more for me later. Talk to you soon. I'll whisper to you soon. Bye.